Let's talk about frizz. If you struggle with frizz and you want to know how to minimize or reduce the amount of frizz that you deal with on a day-to-day -day basis, then this video is for you. Hi, I'm Michelle. I'm a licensed hairstylist with over 20 years of experience and on this channel I use those 20 years of experience to help you have healthy, happy hair. So like I mentioned before, what we're going to be discussing today is frizz. And frizz is something that is very commonly talked about. It's the bane of a lot of people's existence. And it's something that you struggle with if you happen to have wavy or curly hair. And now frizz is often looked at as mostly a bad thing or it's vilified and it's something we're always trying to get rid of. But frizz isn't necessarily a bad thing, nor is it necessarily a sign that your hair is unhealthy. Healthy hair that is curly or wavy or really tight coily is going to be frizzy because that's part of the package deal with curly or wavy hair is frizz. They just go hand in hand. However, there can be some other causes of frizz that I will go ahead and discuss as I am working on my hair. And I will talk about how I try to minimize frizz in my hair because I do try to um, get as little frizz as possible on my wash day so that I don't have to do any fresh refreshing on days two and three and I can Pretty much just wake up shake it out and go and or hit it with steam and that's about it um, so I don't like to have a whole lot of frizz on my wash day just because I know that I'm gonna gain some frizz as I go throughout the week until my next wash day that being said I also try to embrace my frizz it's pretty hard to do because you know it's it's frizz like it's it's the thing you get teased for when you're younger and you have frizzy hair and things get stuck in it and it does this fly away thing and a lot of people tend to think that it looks unkempt or unprofessional and it's neither one of those things. It's just a part of having curly hair. So embracing the frizz is one of the best things that you can do. However, there is nothing wrong with trying to minimize it to a certain extent and extending out your wash days so that you can have hair that you are both happy with while still trying to learn how to embrace the frizz. One of the things that I do to minimize frizz in my hair is making sure that my hair is in a state of protein moisture balance that I'm never too far one way or the other because having too much moisture can make your hair frizzy and having too much protein can make it frizzy. It's just two different kinds of frizz. And then also making sure that my hair is nice and moisturized overall. I do live in a dry climate, which can dry out my hair and cause frizz. Also, it's winter right now, it's cold, and there can be issues with frizz there. Part of it because of the, the dryness of the indoor heat and then the cold weather outside, wearing hats and then wearing coats. And there's a lot more friction happening. And then there's static usually too because of the cold dry weather. So these are all things that can cause frizz along with humid weather. So if you live in a humid area or if you live in a climate that is humid, you're going to be experiencing frizz too because your hair is going to be kind of wandering around all over the place trying to pull the moisture out of the air because that's what it likes to do. And that can definitely be frustrating. And I'm going to be sharing some of my tips with you as I work on my own hair. So as I mentioned earlier, I like to keep my hair in balance. Uh, with protein and moisture. So I've already done that with my wash routine. I used a moisturizing shampoo and I used a protein conditioner and then I used the Curl Smith Oil in Cream Leave-In Conditioner, which is a pretty heavy emollient conditioner. And I find for my hair using something like that or the other one that works really well is the Wee Dodd Whipped um, Whipped primer, something, I don't know, I can't remember the name. So I make sure I've got a really good leave-in that's gonna help maintain my balance and keep my hair nice and hydrated against the dry climate that I live in. And I'm also careful about where in my routine that I use humectants. Humectants are fine to use, kind of, especially glycerin. Glycerin can be finicky. Um, if it's a dry climate, it can pull moisture out of your hair and into the climate. If you're in a humid climate, then it can pull moisture from the air and into your hair. However, if you're using products after it that have a pr protective film, like proteins that have a pr protective film or serums and oils that will protect and seal, then 
that will help mitigate those effects of the glycerin. So I use products that have glycerin in them all the time, regardless of the fact that I live in a dry climate and I've used glycerin in humid climates, but I always make sure to use other products that are gonna help create kind of a buffer between that humectant and the climate. So that would be one of my first tips. So the other thing that I like to do is I make sure I'm styling my hair with really wet hair. I find that there's less frizz the wetter my hair is. Now I don't like it to be dripping, sopping wet where it's making a puddle on the floor, but I do like it to be pretty wet. That does help keep the frizz down, especially as you're putting your products in and they're in wet hair. Then as that dries, it's going to help. It'll help seal that frizz down before it really has a chance to like start doing its own little thing. The next thing I like to do is I also like to layer products. I find that layering products gives me the best defense against um, a lot of frizz because I can have one product that's like a, a curl cream that can help smooth while also continue to maybe help hydrate or it adds protein. Um, it enhances my curls, but generally I find that they help the curls clump together really well. And I like to start out with that. And then I follow it up with something like a gel that's going to hold everything in place really well. So that all of the definition and the kind of clumping together and sticking together that I've done to help minimize the frizz is going to be held in place as my hair dries. So I'm just going to start off with my Hold Me Softly Balm and I have a feeling I probably took a little too much. Yep, I did. So a pro tip or a little hack, if you will, if you grab too much product, then just do what I do and spread it throughout the rest of your hair so that you're not wasting it and you're not piling too much on. Now that I've applied my Hold Me, Sof Hold Me Softly Balm to this section, um, which is another thing that I do, I will section my hair off when I am looking to get a lot of definition without frizz or with a minimal amount of frizz, I will apply my products section by section, and then I go through and I use my Denman So I'm just going to do this throughout the section and then move along through the other two sections. And if you want to see exactly how I do this um, through the top and the sides, I do have other videos showing exactly how to do that. Um, but because this takes a little while, I'm just going to go ahead and either speed it up or just cut to the end where I put in my gel. And as I'm doing this, I will go through and scratch. All right, now that I have applied my Hold Me Softly Style Balm section by section, um, I'll be moving on to the gel. And like I said, doing the putting in the product sex, section by section, as opposed to just putting it all over and then defining, I feel like putting it in section by section helps to ensure the even coating of every single strand of hair and allows for much better definition and clumping that way than by just putting it all in all over, brushing it through to distribute it and then going through and defining it. Um, I d I've done it both ways and I find that when I'm looking for minimal amount of frizz and lots of definition that putting in the styling cream section by section like this is what works the best. All right, so now I'm gonna put in the, my gel and I'm using Curl Smith in style, in shower style fixer. This is a very extreme hold gel, which I love. Um, it's that extreme hold that's really gonna help keep the frizz in check as well, especially as I'm blow drying. Um, this is a really thick gel, so I sometimes spray water on my hand along with the gel so that I can distribute it without really disturbing all of the defining that I have done so far. So I smooth over and scrunch and smooth and scrunch and I grab some more. And this is definitely a curl smith heavy wash day, style day, because ever since I've got these, I've absolutely fallen in love with the curl smith products. I really, really love this hard hold gel. I love a good firm hold um, because 
I feel like it helps me go from wash day to wash day with a minimal amount of frizz. I don't have to do any um, refresh in between and it keeps the frizz down while I am diffusing. So all around, I just, I really like this. I like all the Curl Smith products that I've tried so far. I'm going to go ahead and diffuse my hair and I will be back with the results to show you my minimal frizz, not frizz free, minimal frizz curls look like. Okay, I am back from diffusing and as you can see, my hair has a good cast to it. I'm gonna go ahead and use my typical Verb Ghost Oil in order to scrunch out the crunch and then I'll show you what my results looked like. And as per usual, I just smooth over my hair just to help keep all of those frizzies kind of tame. All right, and that is the scrunch mostly crunched out. I say mostly because I left a little bit of the cast in there um, just because it helps me get more longevity out of my wash days. So I will go to bed with it like this and then when I wake up tomorrow, I will scrunch out what's left and then I will have minimal frizz throughout the rest of the week for a lot longer before I wash again. Or the other thing that I sometimes do, and the only reason why I didn't do it this time is because I'm showing you what my results look like. Um, a lot of times I will wash my hair later at night and I won't scrunch out the crunch at all and I will go to bed with crunchy hair and then I wake up in the morning and scrunch out the crunch and that also helps with keeping frizz to a minimum because you're sleeping on hair that has a cast on it so it protects it so it doesn't get frizzy. Um, so and as you can see I haven't lost like a ton of volume here. Um, with the definition that I've gotten, and I'll show you kind of close up, that the amount of frizz is very, very minimal, and I've got very defined, nice, juicy curls that are nice and shiny, and there's not a whole lot of difference in my styling technique between how I get volume and how I get um, minimal frizz and more definition. It's more the products that I use and a few tweaks here and there, when I'm going for volume, my hair is a little less wet, not a whole lot, but a little bit. Um, I do still like to keep it pretty wet because I don't wanna lose my definition. Damp styling can give you a lot more volume, but you can also lose some definition. Um, the other thing that I change up is I don't use, um, when I'm going for volume, I'll use a volumizing product at my roots to get some root lift. And I use lighter weight products and I will oftentimes use stylers that have protein because protein stylers have a tendency to give my hair a lot of lift and bounce and some airiness to it. So I like to use those. So it's just a matter of switching up products when I do my hair more like this and I want more shine and definition and less frizz, then I go for products that are more emollient and more moisturizing and a little bit heavier. Um, and I go for a very hard hold gel just to make sure that everything stays together and nice and clumped and defined. So yeah, it still looks, like I said, a little bit separated and like there's a cast, but once I sleep on it and scrunch it out tomorrow, it will look really good, which is what matters because it's almost 10 o'clock at, at night right now and it doesn't really matter that I have this in there. So not a problem. Anyway, I hope you found those tips helpful. If you did, please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more content like this, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell while you're at it so that you know when I upload. And if you'd like to leave me a comment, say hi, or if there's anything that you'd like to see in specific, just go ahead and leave me a comment down below. And as always, thanks for watching. Bye.